troubleshooting underdefined sketches in SolidWorks. This is a part that has three lines that are blue, so it's underdefined. Look at it from the front. Everything looks pretty good. The um, lines, though, when you pick something, move back and forth. It doesn't go up and down, but it does go back and forth. If it goes back and forth, that means it's never been established as having a specific location with reference to the origin. In this case, we're going to hold the control key down, select that corner, select the origin, pick coincident. Now it's a fully defined sketch. Look at a couple other um, problems as well. Uh, here we've got a model. The model, um, this by the way is from the parametric modeling class at Southern Maine Community College for the very first thing that people do. So if I look over here on the left and I open up box extrude, there's a negative sign in front of sketch one, which means that sketch one is not fully defined. If I right click, go to the edit sketch button, we'll look straight down at this. It's pretty obvious why it's underdefined because that arc is blue. So in order to determine what's really wrong with it, if I grab the arc and try to move it, you'll notice what happens as it moves. Two things. One, it moves. And two, it doesn't have a tangency relationship anymore. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take and put a dimension from here to here. Now that changes the center of that arc escape. Now I'm going to hold my control key down, select that line and that arc, and add a tangent relationship. That now puts it where it needs to go. It's got a tangent relationship and the sketch is fully defined. Pick OK. Now we've modified the part. Now there's another sketch in here that's also underdefined. If I right click on that and open it up, I can see why, because it's something that's blue. If I look at it from the left hand side, grab one end, I realize that there's no dimension placing that endpoint, and there's no dimension placing that endpoint, and we need one or the other in addition to that 30 degree line. So I go back over to Smart Dimension, pick the top, pick that corner, drag it over here and type in the point 44. Now it's a fully defined sketch because we've given all the information that it needs. And another underdefined sketch. We've got a part that looks like that. It was a revolved part. You can see it's got an underdefined sketch. We right click on it, go to Edit Sketch, Let's look right at the front view. Now, in this case, it doesn't appear to be any blue showing. Everything looks pretty good. There is a dot right there that's blue, but that's the end of a, of a construction line. Because there's a construction line that would not cause this part to be underdefined, neither would that blue dot, neither would that blue dot. So if we take a look. And it's just one of those things where it seems a little puzzling. What you can do is start putting a corner window, I mean a window around each of the intersections and see if you select anything. If you select nothing, the corner is probably pretty good. Okay, now we did select something here. So I'm going to zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, and zoom in, and it turns out I have this little tiny line right there. That little tiny line, when I delete it, is now gone, but in addition to that little tiny line, the line that's underneath it, the one that looked like it was long enough, goes past the intersection point so they don't connect. So I need to put those things together. If I put them together, so now they've got a coincident relationship, you see I have a fully defined sketch.